Hello, it's Susan here from craftybrain.blogspot.co.uk and this is my first ever YouTube video. I'm going to tell you today about the Bloom Impressions tool which is by Marion Smith. I'm not going to go into a lot of stuff beforehand because I hate it when other people do that. I know what you want to see is the product being used and I'll tell you what else I think about it at the end. So, what you do with the tool is take some flowers you can use ones that are ready colored i'm going to use plain white ones i think these are by kanban and um, if you have ones that are colored you use a water spray but because these are plain i'm going to show you how you can turn them into colored it's obviously fairly easier so all you do is give you a bottle of shake hold it a bit away and spray onto your flowers. Now you do both sides with this because what it does is loosen the fibres and that's how the tool is going to get to work with it. So then you place it, you can put as much colour on as you want, I just want something quite muted to go with the project I'm doing. So you just place it over the top of the hole and then put the strange bit on top of it and push down and twist as you're doing that. Now this is quite a firm card so it is a little bit easier if you've got a thinner GSM but I didn't. So, so you just twist it around and then when you take it out you can see that you've got a lovely shaped flower. So I'm going to do the same thing on the other one. Actually I'll spray it a touch more just because I want you to really see how much of an effect it can have. You don't have to worry about getting any ink on it because it's plastic, it just wipes clean. So it's great for all your messy crafts. If you've got all your inks out anyway, it is ideal. And it means that you can get all of your um, embellishments to match your own personal card. So as you can see again we've got the dent, I haven't done that one quite as well because I'm mushing it. So I'm going to give them a second to dry and I've also got, I thought I would show you, some smaller ones that have got a bit of foiling on. These are also by Kanban I think which is the same company as they did the last ones. Now what I thought I would show you with these is I've got two different ones. One is quite card so you can see oh, where's the camera you can see if I flick it it's quite sturdy the other one is paper so you can see that it doesn't have much give to it so what I'm going to do now is just the same as before I'm going to spray the paper one first and I'm only going to do one spray because papers don't have as many fibers that need to be loosened as the card ones so I'm going to place it over the center again Put that down and twist it. As you can see, it closes pretty perfect this time. And twist it. Now, what I've found is that you don't want to twist too many times when you've got a thinner paper. Because what tends to happen is you'll lose one of your petals. So that hasn't happened that time. It was very close to it. I'll show you. If I think if I give it two more twists, I'm going to end up with a broken... Yeah. So there I've got a broken flower. As you can see that didn't take much to do but I wanted you to be aware that it does work better if you've got a thicker, you've got to have a card, I'd recommend a thin card. And one thing I don't like about this is it doesn't work on paper and your card's got to be very thin which I find limits me. So I'm just doing the same thing again with the smaller ones which are the same matching cardstock as what the bigger ones are. So then again, just line them up, push it down, and twist just a few times. And again, we have that cute little dimple on the back. And again. And then we have that cute shape. So as you can see, there's a couple of drops of ink 
inside of it. All you need to do is take a bit of tissue or a baby wipe, whatever you want to use, wipe it and it's clean. So you don't have to worry about getting any marks or stains on it. I've done this because I'm using a spray. This is my splodge mat. Um, I think a lot of people have them these days. But as I say, if you don't want to, if you've got flowers that are already coloured and you don't want to do your own or you don't have the sprays, then you can just use a normal water spray. It is really important to remember that you spray it on both sides. If you only do one, then the fibres are only going to loosen on one side, which means you're not going to get such an effective shape. I've used on this Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist in Coral Reef. I don't know if you can see that. As I say, I'm, this is my first ever video, so I'm not marvellous at it. Any hints or tips that you could give me would, would be a great assistance if you could put them in the comments box. So please bear with me. So as you can see, we now have four flowers. They've all gone slightly different in colour because I've been doing it quick, but I quite like that effect. After all, in nature, everything is different. You'd never get two the same. So what I'm going to do is just layer them up as I would normally. And I'm going to offset the petals a little bit so that's what it looks like when you layer two of the big ones together for this I am using my cosmic shimmer glue it is the best glue I think I've ever used it dries really quick and it dries clear and it's great for everything acetate everything so and then the little ones I've just offset on top of the big ones and leave them for second and just shape it a touch and there you have the completed flower courtesy of Marion Smith's bloom impressions tool as you can see I have ended up with something that I think is rather pretty but I do have my issues with it. Um, firstly is, as I've said, the paper and the card, you've got to use the right thickness otherwise you do end up with just a mess like that, um, which isn't at all ideal. Um, I paid about 18 99 for it when it came out um, about a year ago. They have brought it out in other colours now. Um, and there's also matching dies that go with it. I do have one of the die sets. I think it's a small rose one. And on them, they only have the individual petals. You d I don't know if you can see on the back. There's a picture there of the dies. So whereas this has all of the pe die, uh, petals together, you don't get that. Um, so as I say, you can spray it with any of your ink misters that you've got you can make your own from your perfect pearls or um, your radiant rains and anything like that you can also if you're in a hurry there's like, obviously punches that you can use um, to punch out your own to your own size specifications and spray them to your own colour which really makes your project unique the downside about this I find is it makes everything look the same and in nature nothing does um I think 1899 for what it is is quite expensive I don't know how much it would be in other currencies um but all it is really is a bit of plastic um it's quite clunky to store as well for something so little um I find it difficult um to find somewhere to store it because of this awkward part um another thing is 
why pay $18.99 for something that you can do with these? Like, I can make a flower. And personally, I do like these. I do like the way the bottom goes. But the top is straight in in nature. You can see it's straight in nature. The petals tend to curl over more. So I personally like to bend them over my fingers. And obviously I wouldn't have used the tool on this first. And it wouldn't be wet. But I tend to think that that gives you a much more lifelike flower than what it is from doing this. Particularly if you use something like a quilling tool instead of your fingers. I'm just lazy. Um, so all in all, if I had the chance again, I don't think I would actually buy this tool for £18.99. I would, if it was in a bargain bin for like five, six pound, I, I would go ahead great. But as I say, I can do this on my fingers, so why spend the money on it? And I'll take it around places, like if you go to any crops or craft classes or anything. Um, it's not a craft essential. Um, so all, all in all, I would say if you've got dexterity problems, um, if you struggle with folding things over or you just want something that's really quick, couple of sprays, a twist and it's done, then this is the product, product for you. But if you want something that makes your flowers a bit more unique um, and you're on a budget, then I would personally leave it. Um, so I hope this video has been useful to you. Um, if there's any other products you would like me to review, let me know. I do have quite a few planned. Um, hopefully they'll be a little bit more technically advanced than this one with it being my first one. So I will hopefully see you soon and please feel free to visit my blog. It's craftybrain.blogspot.co.uk Thank you for watching and if you do purchase the tool I hope that you enjoy it. Thank you.